Welcome to the Norwegian Museum of Science, Technology and Medicine, home of the Oslo Science Center. My name is Andre, and today we are going to talk about the Northern Light, or Aurora Borealis, and how it was recreated in the laboratory in the 19th and very early 20th century. This is a mid-18th century experimental device called a lightning tube, where we can see electric sparks in air. And this is one of the predecessors of the later vacuum devices, where we can show the same electric discharge in a partial vacuum. Early glass tubes for making discharges in vacuum were usually used directly on the vacuum pump. But in 1857, Heinrich Geisler in Germany invented the Geisler tube, which is a closed tube, uh, a small evacuated space where we can create a pinkish purple uh, electric discharge, which can be manipulated with magnets and in other ways. Norwegian professor Christian Birkland was fascinated by electromagnetism, and he showed this experiment using a slightly different vacuum tube in a famous lecture uh, in Oslo in 1896. In his later research, Professor Birklam refined this experiment, eventually creating more than a dozen different instruments, which were all used in his increasingly advanced studies of the Northern Light. Uh, this is the last and most famous of these instruments, built in 1912 or 1913. It is a vacuum chamber of approximately 1,000 liters capacity, with a terella or magnetized model of the Earth inside. An engraved image of the instrument was featured on uh, the Norwegian 200 kroner paper bill from 1996 to 2017. And today we often talk about this whole apparatus as a terella and not just the magnetized sphere inside. In 2017 we celebrated the double anniversary of 100 years since Professor Birkland's death and 150 years since his birth. Oslo Science Center built this replica of his large Torello chamber, which you just saw. And we will end this little presentation by showing you one of Professor Birkland's most famous experiments, the Northern and Southern Light Auroras, shown as the polar light ovals inside the chamber. If you are ever in Oslo, please come and try it for yourself.